it over. Well, folks, how you doing? Uh, on September the 27th, I had a motorcycle crash, which kind of put my channel and van life on hold for a little bit. Um, I believe I was in a medically induced coma for eight days. I don't remember that part at all. I remember waking up uh, on a different floor. I was in the sixth floor in the ICU with tubes down my throat and all that stuff. And um, I don't remember that part at all. But I remember waking up in the fifth floor in the Tufts Medical Center in Boston. Um, so I got in an accident. I was going to take an exit. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if I was hit from behind. Uh, which is only thing I can gather out of what happened. Um, there was well, my brother and my nephew went and saw the accident uh, either that night or in the morning, and there was like 45 feet of skid marks. So I got in the get off lane for the exit, which was straight, and then it turned, and I just kept skidding straight, and. My bike had anti-lock brakes, and the only thing I could think was uh, something happened with the motor. Uh, the motor died, I got hit from behind, or I downshifted too quickly, but I would have pulled in the clutch. I really don't, don't know what happened. Don't remember that day at all. I had an accident in the morning, too, where I had to lay down my bike because somebody cut me off. And I didn't remember that one, which I had put on Facebook. Um, so, basically, I was in the hospital for, I don't know, two and a half weeks. Then I got transferred to a rehab place in Braintree. And I was there for two weeks. And then I get out. I've been home for a little more than two months now. Um, so... What happened was I broke my left wrist bone. Um, they put a plate in there. And eh, I can't make a square. I'm at like 45 degrees with it. That's as far as. But I don't really have any pain in there. Um, I, I broke my shoulder. Uh, from my shoulder down this way. Um, they put a big plate in here. Um, I got, well, out of 180 degrees, I've got about 145 when I'm doing stretches. So that's coming pretty, pretty well it's coming along. I also broke my T5 vertebrae in my back. And the doctor, which I saw last week, told me that I'm healing well. He doesn't have to see me anymore. Um, couldn't tell me when the pain will stop. It could be six months, it could be a year, it could be forever. Um, that's, has me a bit worried. Um, worried about getting back to work and everything, but, uh, time will tell with all that, right? Um, when I got home, just from waking up in the hospital, uh, by the time I got home, my back, eh, felt about 10% better. That's about it. I was still in pain all the time, which I still am. And last week I got sick. Um, I'm staying at my brother's house because I can't sleep in my van. And, um, you know, just trying to take care of myself right now. Um, and so I've been going to therapy. And last week I got sick with this thing where I'm like coughing up stuff and Coughing and sneezing kills my back. Oh, my Lord. That is bad pain right there. Um, so I got some antibiotics from the doctor, and my nose was running the next day like crazy, which wasn't happening before that. So the medicine was doing its job, and, you know, for a couple of days, my nose was runny, and 
everything. Now I'm kind of just blow my nose here and there and cough a little bit here and there. It's, it's not too bad. I got to pick up my refill tomorrow on that prescription. Um, taking a couple other things for my back and the pain. Um, so right now, uh, I'm on like kind of a temporary halt on my life. Um, it's been tough. This is the first video I've made since that happened. And, um, things are what they are. Um, I will be back in my van in time. Uh, I can't even, I miss my hammock so much it isn't even funny. Um, I usually sleep with my arm up like this in the hammock. And I cannot get, uh, well, uh, get there with my head ain't. My head's, my head's forward. <laughs> I can't get, I can't do that. Oh, it's getting more movement. I give that maybe another, I don't know, couple weeks. Maybe I can, I haven't even tried to get in my hammock. I can drive. Um, I, I first got in my van on, um, Thanksgiving. I couldn't even get in it when I came, I came home on no, November 1st. And I couldn't get in my van. It's too high. Couldn't get in it until Thanksgiving morning I got in it. And I back, I started it up and I backed it up and I tried turning with my, well, I pretty much drive with my left hand and I tried turning and I was like, nope, this ain't gonna work. And, um, you know, I, you know, within a week I was able to actually go for a ride because I had to. Uh, my, the therapy, which I had been waiting, they called and told me that somebody canceled and they could get me in a week earlier because I had to wait three weeks. So I only wound up waiting two weeks. So I had no choice because it was like, go today. You know what I mean? I'm like, so I got in my van and I drove myself there. And um, I've been doing that, you know, I only go t to therapy and maybe to, I actually drove to Boston last week. In my brother's vehicle, that's the day I got sick. Because uh, my van won't fit in the parking garage in there. Um, I always want to go on a helicopter ride. Don't remember it. <laughs> I don't remember anything from that day. Um, my memory wasn't affected at all from the accident. I did have, um, what do they call that? Uh, I don't know, blood on my brain. I didn't have a... I didn't have a concussion, I guess. Or, I don't know. As much as they talked about it, it really didn't go into it too much. But I had blood on my brain. It wasn't a concussion. It was blood on my brain. Um, made it through all that. You know, uh, when I woke up, I was a little foggy. But I looked down and what happened? Motorcycle accident. Okay, what's wrong with me? Okay. I accepted it. I know it's going to take a little time to for things to work out. It's just the way it is. I've been through it with my leg. So um, life is life sometimes. Like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I don't remember any of that. But um, at my brother's house, and it's, it's um, I don't know, January 5th. 15th, I think. And this is the first that I felt like maybe I could try to make a video to, to, to put on the YouTube. Um, the internet's shut off of my van. I don't have any income coming in. Um, I'm still waiting on the disability insurance that I have to work to pay me. Um, that's been a process they've been dragging their feet but i get paid back to when i got in the accident so i'll get a big pile of money but everybody has to wait in line um and that's tough because i was already in a financial problems so you know that's it that's that's my life right now um i gotta try to remember to take some videos i don't just i'm here with my brother's dog and uh, that's been pretty cool. Um, 
I take the dog for walks. Um, the most I've gone is a two mile uh, down the street uh, where we live here. Two miles, a mile down the road and a mile back. So uh, that's the farthest I've gone so far. Um, I just got some new shoes, which my shoes got um, cut off me along with my pants and everything else. I just got new shoes, so they're not broken in yet, and they don't fit right yet. So, you know, it's just a process of everything going on. But that's where my life is right now. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks. I love you guys. And, um, you know, it's just at home doing exercises on the days I don't have therapy, like today. Um, had to go to the doctor to get my refill for my pain medicine, which is stupid now. That's a new thing they do. They won't call it in to, for you anymore. You have to actually go get the piece of paper to bring to the pharmacy. Dumb. But, you know, um, but if you overdose on illegal drugs, they'll give you Narcan and send you on your way to go out and re-overdose. No problem at all. This government is stupid. And I can tell you from a person that has done drugs before, that ain't how you do that. When... Do you get something that saves your life like that? You should have to go to treatment or to jail. You have a choice, one or the other. And then when you're done with that, you can go out and do whatever you want again. And if you have to you have to save your life again like that, you should have to go through that same process. And maybe through doing that, you'll get a little, you just might get that, I want to get better, you know? I don't, that's my opinion on that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I've been through a lot and um, a lot more to go through. But, like I said, I love you guys. I haven't forgot about any of you and um, I'm hanging in there with my life. It's just a one, uh, one thing at a time right now trying to deal with and I'm doing the best that I can do. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling all right, even though I'm broken, but I'm, you know, I'm accepting of the process that I have to get, go through to get to where I got to get to, you know, so, um, yeah, I, my mind is starting to think maybe I should make a few videos or something, you know, but, um, I'm going to try to get back into that a little bit as we go along, but that's where, I, that's, that's what's been going on with me. That's where I've been disappeared and. Uh, I've been cooking dinner for my brother. He goes to work and I cook dinner for him. Uh, that's like the only thing I can do to pay back, uh, for him letting me stay here and whatnot. Um, so it is what it is. And, um, all this time off, I wish I could go fishing. I can't even, I couldn't cast a pole to save my life. Uh, or reel it in. Or any of that other stuff. Um, yeah, some of my favorite things to do, I can't do. I'm going to be going on a trip up to, probably up to New Hampshire or Maine or something up in a couple weeks. Um, I'm going to try to record that. I don't know if I'm going to my van or in uh, my girlfriend's car. I, I don't know yet, but I'm going to try to make a video when we do that. I don't know if I take my van or not. I might, I, I don't know. Um, it can definitely use the trip. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's it. I, that's all I got for right now. I love you guys. Um, anybody that's continued to watch my channel, anybody else that's added to my channel, thank you. Um, your patience is a blessing for me. And, um, that's all for today. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Later.